welcome back to the channel guys this video is gonna be a special one because i'm going to show you not only krabi but the incredible pp island I'm here right now and I'm gonna bring you on a journey to show you the most beautiful places around here because this is in my opinion the best part of Thailand. It's very touristic of course but it's also incredibly beautiful. It's just mind-blowing. Also this video is very special for me because my mom is here. She came to visit me for two weeks here in Thailand. She came alone and I have the privilege to show her this incredible paradise spent some quality time with her so i'm really really grateful so let's start from the beginning because i went to pick up my mom at the phuket international airport what did you prepare ply oh so sweet when, when, uh, in thailand yeah in thailand after that we spent few days in Phuket, I show her around Rawai, Naihar, Karom Beach, Kata Beach. After that we rented the car and we drove to Krabi. It took us about like four hours. In particular we stay in Ao Nang for a couple of nights. Okay, Aonang is like nothing special. It's more like a base to then go to Raleigh Beach, to go to Pipi Island, to go and do some excursion around Krabi because Aonang itself is almost like a base. But it was super nice to see Aonang packed with tourists. Everything now it's open. You know, for the past two years it was completely dead. All the shops were closed. I've been to Krabi a few times over the past two, three years. And it's really nice to see Krabi coming back to life. All the restaurants are full. A bunch of tourists walking everywhere, booking tours, booking excursion around. So Aonang now is very lively, very vibrant. So we are leaving tomorrow from this pier, Klong Jilar Pier, to Pipi Island. 500 baht per person. Good morning guys from Aonang Krabi. Today we are going to Pipi Island. I haven't been there in a long time, maybe like six or seven years ago. So I'm excited to go back, but look at this. Amazing, so beautiful. My mom is here. <laughs> but this is a good place to spend like one or two days and then catch a boat or a speedboat or a long tail boat and then go to Riley Beach, go to Pipi Island, go to explore all the incredible places around Krabi because Krabi has the best nature and the best islands around here. It's, it's mind blowing. So in a couple of hours, we are leaving Aonang and we are headed to Pipi Island. I'm excited to see how it is now and spend a night or two there and also show my mom, of course, Pipi Island because it's really nice. If you're in Aonang and you want to go to Pipi, they also have this day tour. You don't need to spend the night there. You leave in the morning, you come back in the afternoon for 2,000. Yeah, 2,500 baht per person. And you will see four Pipi Islands, including the famous Maya Bay. This is also a good alternative. And then from Krabi in the morning, we drove to a pier in the south of Krabi. We catch a ferry which cost us 500 baht per person. And in two hours, we arrived to Pipi Island. In particular, we arrived to Pipi Don, which is the only island of Pipi that is developed with hotels, with restaurants, with everything. I don't know if it was a good decision to take that ferry because the pier was very far from Aonang and the ferry was extremely slow. It took two hours while you can actually go to Pipi Island from Krabi in 30 minutes with a speedboat. So probably on the way back, we'll go back with the speedboat because yeah, it's true that it costs double around 800 baht or 1000 baht per person per way, but it's way faster and way more convenient. So there is an island tax of 20 baht per person. <laughs> Made it to PP Island. This is the other side of Pipi Don. Crazy, it's just a two minutes walk and you go from one beach to the other. Wow. This is incredible. Okay. 
this hotel is very high up in the hill so this is our room two twin beds a little bit disappointing to be honest for the price we pay like 1800 baht but the view is nice because you got the sea there and also the sea over there looking for a boat trip for tomorrow me and my mom maybe private is better just the two of us and it costs between 1500 and 2500 baht if you go with a group it's way cheaper it's like 750 baht while the private boat the long tail boat it start from 1500 for three hours then four hours is like 2500 five hours 3000 baht you probably go for three or four hours for 2000 baht 2500 baht yeah it's not bad actually <laughs> Margarita, beautiful PP Island. But I'm more excited for tomorrow. Mama, <laughs> what a sunset! PP Dawn. Sun, right? like many people yeah, come many people early I morning to early because we get to my bay first place oh. and then less people on beach there many cats in pipi don yeah. so if you want to go with a group it will cost you 650 baht while the private boat starts from 1800 7 30 in the morning and we're going to catch the boat we're going to Maya Bay they say we should meet in front of Burger King so I guess the boat is one of them guys we made it to Maya Bay now you cannot enter from the main beach but you come from the back side here you have to pay the fee for the national park which is 400 baht per person and then you walk to the main beach but you cannot swim anymore when I came here a few years ago you can swim now they don't allow to swim because they are trying to trying to keep the nature healthy so you can walk on the beach but you cannot swim So the entrance for foreigner is 400 baht per person. <laughs> Welcome to Maya Bay. crowded but it's not as crowded as in 2016 when I was here because before all the boats they can come here to the beach you can also swim and there were many many more people and it was just too much well now the water is completely empty no boats they have to stay like far away and you can really soak in and enjoy the nature the atmosphere it's, it's really nice So 
here you have to show your boat number and this guy will call the the boat and they will come all the way there to pick us up here are cap can you show this number okay Honestly, we didn't pay the national park fee. I don't know if it's normal or we skip it, but nobody asked for us and we just walk inside. Maybe it's not a good example. Now we leave the back of Maya Bay and we go to the front. We'll do some snorkeling right in front of Maya Bay. And here is the snorkeling area. this water guys it's insane so green so clean We made it to Monkey Beach and I can already see some monkeys there. My mom now she wants to throw a banana. <laughs> <laughs> no, lunch. Lunch here or what? Vai, lunch, lunch. Non sulla, vai, vai. Vai, vai, vai. Oh. <laughs> The Maya Bay tour was just incredible. It lasted four hours and we just had an amazing and amazing time. Then we came back to Pipi Don and we found the island completely packed with tourists. It was just unbelievable. And yes, PP right now is packed with tourists. You cannot imagine how many tourists there are here. There are hundreds of boats everywhere, thousands of tourists walking around, all the restaurants are full. It's unbelievable, to be honest. But I'm also happy for Thailand that uh, tourism is coming back. They start to make money again, because as I said, the past three years, they've been really, really hard for Thailand, especially on PP Island, they, they shut it down completely. So they didn't see tourists for two and a half years. And now woof, they all came back together. It's, uh, it's mind blowing. drinking some coffee and uh, today is the last day here in PP Island we have a ferry back to Krabi early afternoon so I want to fly the drone for the last time in the morning PP Island is very quiet because the tourists they come for the day trip most of them from Krabi or from Phuket so they arrive a little bit later and then they leave before sunset while the people staying here most of them they like to party at night so in the morning they're just sleeping so in the morning like 7 8 9 a.m. it's very very quiet And the beach in the morning looks incredible, completely empty. Hello! Guys, me and my mom are about to check out and we just discovered the next door. They watched my video and it was also like a mom with a son from South Africa. Gabby, how old are you? 34. 34, yeah. They're my hotel neighbors from, uh, we are in Pipi Island and I just met them and they watched my video. <laughs> and you guys are from? South Africa. South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. We're in South Africa? Uh, Paris, in the first Paris. state, yes. Yeah. Right, maybe one, one day we'll come and visit. 
and my dream came true. I met Gabby. Oh. <laughs> I blush now. <laughs> All right, guys. I think I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Krabi and most importantly of this beautiful island of Koh Phi Phi. It's crazy because right here, yesterday, this is Phi Phi Dawn. There were like thousands of people everywhere, and this morning is completely quiet. There is definitely like a mass tourism coming and going every day. I cannot imagine how many thousands of people come every day to PP Island but this is truly like a paradise and I totally get it because it's really unique in the world. I'm very very grateful that I got to spend quality time with my mom and show her these incredible places in Thailand, do a holiday together because you know she's getting old and you never know how many trips she can do again on the opposite side of the world from Italy all the way to Thailand so I'm really enjoying the best of these trips together and showing her the beauty of Thailand and, uh, and yeah just have some quality time together with my mom. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever been to PP Island I'm really curious for me it's my second time and this time I'm really really enjoying it even more than back in 2016 even though during the day there are like thousands of tourists it's still an incredible paradise let me know down below thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye Ma, say say hi to you too ciao, ciao. <laughs> venite qui è bellissimo <laughs>